For Maggie, the, the physical space of the centre was just as important as everything else that happens within the centre. The fact that you walk through a garden before you come through the front door, that there's no reception desk when you come in, that we don't wear uniforms, all of that environment is a really important distinction to the hospital space. That's not that we're saying that hospitals aren't good, it's just that we're hoping to say that this can be a different space where you can come and talk about you as a person rather than you as a patient. Physical openness of the building I think lends itself brilliantly to an emotional openness that Maggie's is all about. I think I was on my second bout of chemotherapy and my hair was just starting to fall out. And actually I just had my dose of chemotherapy the day before that session so I was feeling so ill. But I was determined I was coming. They've made the difference between a, a very sad person and a now thriving person. I think that's the, 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 the biggest thing that I can say that Maggie's has given me. It's They've, they've given me a huge amount of uh, self-confidence and, and uh, optimism you know, and happiness. But you, can't, you can't do these things on your own. Immediately, one of the first things that people do think about when they have a cancer diagnosis is, am I going to survive? You see people kind of visibly, even as they walk in the door, you know, kind of breathing a sigh of, of relief. It's just really a part of life sometimes, it made me feel a lot better about things. It's, it's really changed my life, if I'm being honest with you. It's an unquantifiably special place. You just walk in and you know you're cherished. You know, we in many ways are helping people bear the unbearableness of their diagnosis. And our aim is to be able to hold them as safely as we can at the time of, of diagnosis or re-diagnosis and to gently start to give them a map of how they might find a way of putting one foot in front of another with the brilliant support that they're going to get from the hospital but also with the ongoing enduring support that they're hopefully going to get from Maggie Centres as well. <laughs>